The 2012-13 LV Cup gets underway this week. Four Welsh and 12 Premiership clubs will take part, each playing two home and two away games over four pool rounds. With the first two rounds taking place during the Autumn Internationals window, last year's LV breakthrough player Johnny May is keen to make his mark. With, with internationals away, there's only other spots to fill and there's lots of young players about itching with the opportunity to get involved. And um, I, even at Gloucester, I'm, I'm, people like Gareth Evans and Ian Clark, they're going to come through and, and do really well. And I'm sure there's lots of other young players at other clubs that can't wait for this opportunity. And I can't wait either because it's going to give me an opportunity to get back into playing as well. So it's, it's, it's a cup that just gives you the refreshing change from, from the pressure of the premierships. You can almost play, play a bit more expansive side of rugby and let young guys have a go as well. You, you look at Johnny May's performances uh, within the LV last year and his performances since. You know, I think it well deserved, uh, and it's you know it's earned him a good place in, in a very very strong Gloucester team. Uh, I'll be very pleased to see one of the Bath Academy boys pick up that uh, that award. Uh, and, and I think the exciting thing is we'll, we'll see some boys that perhaps uh, names we haven't heard of before. Uh, we'll see them put to the fore who will come out and they'll pick up the man of the match performances and they'll they'll hold down a place in the LV and, and hopefully we'll see these guys out playing in the Premiership for Bath uh, afterwards. Obviously it's important that you keep some of those, I suppose older heads is a way to say it. Very, very polite, very yeah, polite. polite. Yeah, the older heads and the more experienced guys I should probably have said. Um, you know, it's important to keep them in the squad, but like you say, you know, sort of drip feeding those, you know, those young young lads in. And um, you know, for me, like last year, it was a massive opportunity for me to play and, and get some game time under my belt. You know, you know, being in the academy, sometimes it gets you know hard, you know, getting some really high quality game time. And I think you know that's what's key about the LV Cup is you get to test yourself against, you know, class opposition, you know, within the Premiership, you know, teams and and obviously those Welsh sides. I think that you know that's massive. And like I said, if we can win those games, that'll be that'll be a bonus. Yeah. LV Cup ambassador Lewis Moody is keen to highlight the Cup's other main draw. For clubs that maybe uh, maybe sort of losing that sixth place finish that they were looking for, it gives them another another sight and another opportunity to get into the Heineken Cup. But, uh, but it, you know, it's, it's proved a, a good competition. You go back to last year's final, Leicester and, uh, and, and Northampton, I thought it was a, a cracking encounter, or Leicester Bath, and you see some of the young guys that, you know, the two fly half battles place that day two 20 year olds and Tom Heathcote and, uh, and George Ford so it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great competition on, on all sides. The defending champions are Leicester Tigers but Scarlet's Andrew Fenby knows it's not just the players it matters to. Even with the coaching setup you know it's new coaches young coaches are hungry keen want to make their mark and um, you know like the Ospreys winning their first bit of silverware last year with their new coaches you know like Easterby and Mark Jones are hungry to achieve that with us. So how often does Lewis Moody think about being a young man again to be running out this weekend? Every day. <laughs> every day and every time. I'm out here watching anyone play rugby, but uh, sadly my body won't have maybe touch rugby in the future. The LV Cup gets underway on Friday the 9th of November with the final at Six Ways on March 17th. For all the latest, follow at LV Rugby on Twitter or visit lv.com forward slash rugby.